Hey guys, and welcome back to the Kingdom of Georgia campaign. I keep saying Kingdom of Georgia, it's really a duchy, but meh. Uh, the rebels that were acting in the fought to attack, so I won't resolve that. 75 men lost, is not too bad. Better than fucking 360 something, that was ridiculous. <laughs> right, Tatar raids in Russia. Crimean Tatars are standing across the border in Russia. To conduct raids, loot and pillage the Russian countryside. War has not, has not been openly declared, but it may be impossible to avoid this, as Russia needs to take a hard stance. Yep. Right, let's uh, now have to wait for this fucking thing to get... Uh, no, I've done it, have I? Good. Right, well, but, but kill this fleet, and then uh, we'll leave. That's well, quite a lot of ships, so we'll grab them off for Rackland and bring them over to reinforce. God, everything's a bit dodgy over, isn't it? Fucking hell. I may send that army to take that. I can handle that. Just go around it, you idiots. And um, we're in the green, so that's good. That means we can actually do something interesting. <laughs> Let's take that. I won't bother recruiting more mercenaries, but at the same time, I kind of want to. Um, over here, because the Ottomans' main force are sort of mainly over there. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, invasion building, not too bothered about a cannon to be honest. Small marketplace will help the economy as best as I can. Factors announcements. Oh, a bunch of missionaries dies. New family member. I mean, the missionaries that I had there, they were fairly fucking old. So... It's to be expected. I want a drill plaza. <laughs> so we're going to have that recruited soon. Actually. Let's build um, a unit there. I think that'd be my main idea. Just sort of the public court to Razo. We've got this guy over here. Taking that. Pretty sure. Someone else had that. Pretty sure Venice had that, but they seem to have taken it. <laughs> That's their choice, I imagine. Um, yeah. So we're gonna besiege that and take that. Um, yeah. There's not too much is gonna happen. Um, <laughs> why skip ahead, really? So yeah, let's go on with it. So it seems the Austrians have declared war on us. Great. <laughs> Um, in that case, then, we may have to expand against Austria and help the Polish defeat them. Um, yeah. <laughs> I did plan to go east and just have a giant empire on east, but however, with my good relations... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> with my good relations with uh, Persia and Russia, I may not bother. Uh, plus, invading Russia is a fucking bore. I mean, look at the size of it. I'm going to be bored out of my mind doing that. I mean, Persia's alright, because it's, sort of, it's not as big. But, um... I don't know. I don't, I don't think. I don't think I would. I mean, there wouldn't be much point to do so. We are fairly strong, so I, I just think. I just don't think we would bother. Um, from a from a character perspective, I just don't think it's going to happen. I can't even get my men out of there, but alright. Uh, with that army, we're sending over to Tarsus. Tarsus. I have no idea if you pronounce that right. At some point, I may come with a deal to get that off Venice. At some point. Hopefully they agree. Uh, do I leave here? Let's leave these 120 douchebags here. And merge my army while I'm here. What's the uh, public order? Okay, it's, it's actually very Roman Catholic. Okay. Is it bad? I guess we'll send them over east to join up with uh, the um, Duke of. Uh, I was going to say Duke of Antioch, but Duke in that era. And yeah. Um, Oh yes, we can take that now, can't we? Brilliant. There we go, victory is ours. Let's get rid of those bloody rebels as well. Alright. Yes, we are very triumphant indeed. I'm keeping my stuff on low taxes because I just, I just need it. I just don't, I don't want to have all that. Okay, we need to push west, to the, but at the same time, I may just... Uh, nah, the Austria is so big, it's just <laughs> fucking hell. So I think I'm going to just defend around here, 
that's the best way to do it, I believe. And yeah. Okay, let's head out. Yeah, War of Austria is just... I'm, I'm going to have to fight him. I have no choice. we go to Varna. And you guys can just... Um, I just build an army there, I guess. I mean, that's the only really choice we have. So the projected turtles is amazing, but they just the upkeep is just... I'm pulling all the money down. I mean, I could up the up uh, up the taxes, but I kind of want I kind of just want to keep the taxes they are. Why does so many bloody boats open there? What the hell is going on? Like, what the hell? No, he does not like me at all. Why is it so bad? I don't understand. I don't understand why it's so fucking bad. I have done absolutely fuck all to to to, to like become despicable. Or, um, that's probably why, because the whole despicable bullshit. But what have I done that's despicable? I mean, you guys have all watched my fucking episode series from the beginning. And have I done anything? Have I betrayed any allies? No. <laughs> have I fought? Just got been attacked all the time? Yes. <laughs> the Ottomans attacked me. Well, I attacked the Ottomans, but still, they were going to attack me anyway. And it's not despicable to attack the Ottomans when they're about to fucking... Like, their armies are on your border, and you didn't attack them. That's not despicable. If Austria, they're just a cunts. Well, I mean... Relations, relations, relations. It's just... What the hell's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Relations are terrible, terrible, poor. Why? What the hell have I done? Nothing. Absolute bollocks. <laughs> to do anything. It is ridiculous, and fucking utterly damn right stupid. That, that 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 happens. It's just ridiculous. We're gonna go help the Polish and um, try and win them to our side, I guess. No, I really want to push Austria at all. Really, well, I just want Poland to beat the shit out of them, so I can just go back to fighting Persia. That's what I wanted. That's my whole idea. But whenever I have planned something, it never goes right. It's something always goes wrong. Ah, what a generous offer! Oh, of course, we accept that. No, you stupid idiot. Does, he, does Austria think I'm an idiot? <laughs> Holy crap. <Yeah. laughs> um, alright, they said I'm quite the fucking host. Okay, 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 well we need to um deal with that, don't we? Yeah, I moved the army out to kill some rebels. Alright. Now you can get back in there before it rebels into something stupid. Okay. What the hell? Ottoman? Oh god. <laughs> They're probably dangerous. Hopefully. I imagine they probably are. I suppose it's bad. Yes, I know we lost a load of fucking troops. I get it. Shut up. Alright, we need to move out of this straight away. We don't really have time to defend it. Especially if that army is coming. Okay, let's leave. Stick 120 of these douchebags in here. And let's get back to Antioch. <laughs> let's see what we can build. Anything in particular fun? Ah, probably not. Which I want to build over here, don't I? Because it seems that's going to be our next frontier against the bloody... Uh, against the Austrians. Alright, we'll build that. And see if I can build here, or is that it? That'll do. I'm gonna move you back down over here to kill them. I think I'm gonna send this guy down here because he's like lost half his army. So, yeah. That's quite undefended, actually. I don't know if we also know at war with the Austrians. Just me and Poland, so they'd be concentrating on us, I imagine. Um, let's nearly reach that. In an effort to sort out the public order and bring the uh, capital of the Georgians closer, closer, and just more in the centre, we've named Ant made Antioch our capital uh, because it helped. It's all right over here for a public order now. It's just this is a bit red, but I'm gonna get a troop and then that should sort it out later on. And uh, yeah, that, that that's why I just named it, made it Antioch because I felt it was more fitting. 
actually. Anyway, let's land here. And take Cyprus. And then the glory of the Georgian Empire. Could do some more ships at some point. Um, yeah, for some reason, the Spanish ships and like Savoy and ships and all that are just like around my territory. I don't know why. Let's hope they don't attack me so I don't have time to be fighting them as well. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't have time. Go away. <laughs> let me fight <laughs> the Austrians in peace, alright? <laughs> that is the problem of playing such a central faction. Like Georgia, because you're just surrounded by everyone. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's take this. I don't know what the, that stupid shit about the fucking just grenade infantry just getting stuck and not moving when I tell them to. Fucking ridiculous. No, you dumb fucking idiot. Don't. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Nah, I'm done. This is just... What? Why the fuck would you click occupy? Why the... Oh, my God, my brain. My brain. Oh, my God. I'm so fucking done with this game. I'm... Fucking done with this shit. I'm fucking done. I'm so done. Nah. Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this. It's just stupid. Nah. What the? What? How did you manage to fucking click on occupy? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I'm done. I'm done. Nah. A new age of China's expansion. The Quine Quine Long Emperor. What? What? Come on, spelling. Come on, guys. We can spell better than that. Come on. <laughs> The Quine Long em em Empora <laughs> of China is attempting to once more bring China into the golden age of expansion and progress. Already many small border wars have been fought, but many bigger ones are underway, and China continues to expand all the European powers are able to keep up. Uh, no, because they just make plastic crap eventually. Anyway, um, Austria set up a huge army, who are pretty formidable, I believe. So we may have some trouble fighting them, and hopefully, yeah. Um, we have built up some troops down here. And that should be able to start pushing on the Holy Land. And then pushing to Cairo and Egypt and all that general area. And then once that conquest of all that is over, I can start pushing on Austria with a full army. And hopefully, uh, Poland doesn't get in... Uh, not Poland. Uh, Persia or Russia don't get involved and start fighting me. Because I don't really have time to be fighting them. Like... If I'm going to defeat Austria, I need to focus all my attention on them. I mean, the Ottomans will survive up there, but not for long. Not for long. They will, they will soon be destroyed. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Really, just saw that public order over here because it's a bit dodgy. And, um, yeah, that's the general gist of things, really. Thank God the Ottomans are fighting someone else. <laughs> Don't we have to... Hopefully, the Ottomans, yeah, they can die <laughs> over in the West. And, um, yeah, I mean, the Ottomans aren't my main concern. It's the Austrians now, now sitting outside my fucking doorstep, which isn't wonderful. All right, guys, we've been attacked at Antioch, so we're going to send our entire army over to beat the shit out of them. I just hope that I can actually... All right, that... Is that... I can't fucking see because that damn Imman is in the way. No, I can't attack them, but... Okay, they can't. Ah, can I bother to fight? I mean, I can't fight it with a big army, so there's much point in just sitting there um, and fighting it. Because I'd just be controlling the civilian conscripts. It wouldn't be exactly very fun at all. Boris lost quite a lot of troops then. We're moving back. Heading back up here to uh, Tarsus, sorry. And then there. Uh, Regressed. Basically, what I'm doing is just regrouping his army up, really, and retraining them and all that. And um, then we'll be able to move south. I'm sort of focusing a bit on my economy, despite the fact we are at war with other nations. I'm sort of still focusing on that. I mean, I need the money to um, pull through and just ha stand a chance against any of the... Oh, hello. Ah, Venice has taken that. Awesome. That means the Ottomans are not really on my border anymore. They're just over there. I mean, I mean that's not... Yeah. That's good. Oh, hopefully Venice deals with them. I think are they at war? They must be, I imagine. Yeah, they are. That's good. Venice is that's saves me having to do anything. Austria is also yeah, Poland. Yeah, see so Ottomans have two enemies, which is good, which is good. I think Venice starts a war with them anyway, so surprised that didn't happen to begin with. But uh, I'm gonna send you up here. 
I, yeah, the thing I hate about, you know the policy system, the thing I don't like about it is that, I mean, I like it personally, but the AI doesn't have to use it. The AI just puts a fucking, they put economic policy in the fucking standard fortification, and then when you take a settlement, you have to change it every five seconds. It's really annoying. And I just redid it over like a couple of minutes ago, and because I conquered and I completely forgot about it, and I had to go through all of my settlements to change the policy. <laughs> Oh, it was annoying. Very bloody annoying, that. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> I'm keeping my spy to see if I have any blaze surprises up here. I've got a major fortification up there. That's interesting. But yeah, we'll see what that army does. I do outnumber them, but they may. I think they have better troops than I do. I mean, these guys are pretty good. Yeah, not bad. And they do have cannons too, so let's we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we're now besieging this place. It's got a rather, I mean, there's loads of armies around the place. I mean, look, that one, that guy, most of them are generals. Some of them are battered up infantry and all that. And yeah, <laughs> I sent my fleet down here. I'm going to send them down here to Jerusalem, actually. That'll, um, I'm going to send my spies to see what territory they have, what lands they have. They've got, I, I did, I am correcting thinking they have a decent army down here. I'd imagine they do because they, you know. I mean, why wouldn't they? They probably have a good army over here somewhere. I mean, let me see now. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing there. <laughs> well, look, it's more of my um, portrait. Uh, one of my buildings uh, pictures I found, which is pretty nice. I think it's uh, actually con a picture of Constantinople from Assassin's Creed um, Revelations. Why well, I, I found that and I thought that looked right. I don't know if you can buy any more around. Unfortunately not. Uh, yeah, so I'm sending. I got a full stack. Uh, some of them are generals because there's just so fucking many of them. All my generals just spawn. There's so many fucking generals and fan members that are just gonna end up in the armies because I just have nowhere else to put them. To be fair, the bodyguard units are not bad at all. Uh, they, uh, they were good. Uh, <laughs> okay, but yeah, I'm gonna see if the army attacks me. I don't really want to be on the attacking with them. I just want them to come to me if they can. It would be so much fucking easier. So if I attack them, it's just going to end, result in a lot more casualties. Anyway, got some events popped up. The French Republic have, has arrived. Which have the current French banner. Uh, the modern day French banner. We'll find it for you. There you go. French Republic. The Royal Savoy, though, are not, not um, bloody... France, but I don't know why that is. Anyway, the Scottish clown system has been banned. In an attempt to bring the Scottish into the fold and cultural shift them into becoming true English, the Scottish clown system has been banned, and it's illegal to associate yourself with the old great clown of Scotland. I'm sure that was um, that might result in some rebellions later on. <laughs> the French in rebellion. A large French army has risen up in the south of France in open rebellion against their their reigning monarch. Stealing 10,000 gold from a royal palace before forming a huge force outside Marseille and are attempting to put a republic in power over the shambles of the old government. Whispers of more armies rising up to follow this new republic. This is a threat to all monarchs across the world and must be stopped before more of the lower classes get any ideas. Yes, but no communism. Okay, now the French are actually attacking the Kingdom of France. <laughs> Maybe it takes a turn for it to begin. Anyway, let's take this. I just do that. <laughs> Fucking hell. I lost so many men in that one battle. I mean, there's tons of armies around the place. It's ridiculous. There's quite a few generals in there, too. Watch them slowly fall. I need to click them. <laughs> Annihilated the population. Ha ha. Mwa. So those douchebags gone. Get rid of those idiots. I know we're full back to here. And uh, prepare to move out, I guess. I'm not quite sure where we're going to go. Get some broding. Why not? So we can build while we're around here while we can. We'll build that. Uh, something just incre increases trade, really. I don't really want to. Uh, yeah, there you go. We'll do. If we had a bit more, we'd have another one, but it doesn't matter. 
Anything up here? Anything of interest? No, they're just sat outside the walls doing fuck all. When Semis Aura is over, I can't be bothered to fight it. I really can't. They've got a general now, actually. Tamas Sabal, Sibal, whatever. Ah, uh, I just want to run so I can't even bother to fight it. It's partly why I'm just leaving it. Uh, I'll leave it for now. I kind of want to fight that, but I just, I just don't have the energy to do it today. I just can't be bothered. I'm like, it's just in one of those moods where I have so much to edit uh, today as well. I have like uh, loads of Skyrim to edit, uh, loads of bloody Red Dead Redemption Two to edit. I just, I've got to edit all this uh, stuff anyway, so I just, I just can't be bothered. Uh, not in this episode. Maybe, maybe, probably when I come back from holiday and record some more, and I probably will, but just not today. I just, I just can't. Like I know what if I'm not gonna do something if I just don't feel like it. It's just what's the point? Right, let's move out here. There's not much point leaving. Uh, leave you guys in now. Yeah. Leave one of these mini generals in there if I wanted to. An honor to serve, my lord. My lord. Let's save because I'm gonna reload if I can't. An honor to serve, my lord. Man, That's actually okay. He is 40, but hopefully we should have some. Uh, Troops up by then. Tell you what, we'll build one of those actually. We're gonna move over and take Damascus, which has quite a few, some of the leftover generals in there. So we move over and take that, which should be easily done. And yeah, that, that go from there. Is there anything we can build? Nope. Oh, we can build that. That 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 will do. <laughs> I guess it's something. Um. What's my plan? My plan for this series really is just to take out. But how, I think we have to move against Austria. Or what I might do is just take the bordering settlements of Austria and the Ottomans and give it to Poland, and then help them if I can. And just, just I just want to help and just fight over here and then give it all to Poland. That's my goal. And then I can finish my journey of going to the Ottoman lands, uh, pushing into Persia at some point, and then. Invading all Russia, which I think Russia will be the last thing we do because Russia is just such a big fucking place. I mean, it's going to take me so many turns just to get to one area. So a lot of it will be heavily edited out, <laughs> as always. Um, uh, The public order over here is not great. I'm going to destroy this. And I'm going to stick in a um, cultural, which helps public order. For those who don't know or um unfamiliar with the whole uh, public uh, policy system, Essentially, military is just for um, military policy is just for um, if you want better troops, and uh, one free upkeep from a military troop in the actual cut in the fortification. Um, economic policy just helps your trade and uh, growth bonus and all that, and uh, uh, culture is just helps public order. Um, actually, ups your public order by about twenty percent altogether, which is quite good and it's very handy to have. Anyway, guys, we're this episode off here. I'm not going to record any of this until I come back from holiday, so that'll be like three weeks from now. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to my holiday in Northumbria. Uh, we've got a nice hot tub, hot tub, and, um, yeah, it's just a nice break from, because uh, I do, I've um, been, because of this whole lockdown, I've spent a lot of time recording, a lot of time playing games, a lot of times indoors, and uh, not really doing much. I mean, there's not really much to do. Um, in the, any other case, I'd be off with my friends doing something, but then again, Majority of the time I'm sat here doing this, but I hope there's some part I may be able to have a full-time job and that and that way I'll be able to um, Get some more money Because uh, YouTube doesn't pay my bills. I don't have any bills to pay, but YouTube doesn't pay me at all. So yeah But yeah, um Hopefully we're working full-time. I am a bit concerned that I may not have enough time to record all the time So sometimes I sometimes uploads may not be as that free as much frequent as they are now I will be uploading probably five days a week. Um, right now I'm doing seven days a week because of the Mountain Blade series. I just want to get over and done with. And then I can uh, sort of, I can either, I probably will stick to the whole five days. Like, and then some, there may be some days where I may not be able to record or there may not be a video. Uh, but it all depends on how, how much time I have for my full-time job really. Because uh, I don't really like to record on the Saturdays or the weekends or the, <laughs> what the hell am I saying? I don't really like to record on the weekends or the um, 
uh, late evening because my parents are at home and they have the TV on loud and I just and you're just gonna hear it in the background. It's just, it's gonna really be off, very off putting. So that's why I don't record. I mean, I may have to, but uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the series to come. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later.